Now, the Netherlands is one of the most densely populated countries in the world. 17 million people live on average 500 to a square kilometre. That's nearly twice the population dens density of the UK. And the population of the Netherlands is growing. There's an affordable housing shortage, with builders failing to meet demand. The government in the Netherlands, after years of scepticism, is now promoting self-build as part of a solution. And as Kevin Mosley reports, British politicians are keen to learn how it's done. Surveys tell us that millions of people in the UK would like to build their own home, but only thousands ever manage it. People are put off. The process is so daunting. Land's a problem, planning's a hassle, and mortgages elusive. I'm with a party of housing professionals from the UK, led by South Norfolk MP Richard Bacon, and we're on our way through the Hague's cavernous and blindingly white town hall to the so-called plot shop which is at the heart of the home-building boom in the Netherlands. This is Hans Spokerbaum, the manager of the Hague Plot uh, Shop. This is a shop uh, in which we sell plots, where people can build their new homes, and we sell plots in existing buildings, where people can refurbish their new home. And it's actually a shop Literally, you can come to the shop, you can buy a plot, and you can leave with a contract, and you have to pay 300 euro, and you can start. But the shelves are bare because people know a good deal when they see one. When word is out that there are plots to be had, they don't hang around for long. At the moment we, we sell it, it is sold out in a few seconds. Yes. Online? We had to, we had, yes, online. In six seconds uh, we, we sold everything. The last time you got land, how many plots were in it? Uh, it was, there were 11 and there were in six seconds. It is terrible. But on one side it's nice, but on the other side we, don't, yeah, we sell for, for one minute and then it's, we sold out again. It's uh, not nice to work in a shop and you can't sell anything. Spare land in The Hague is as scarce as in any big city. Consequently, unlike self-build projects in suburban areas, plots are more likely to be carved out of existing buildings. We all pile on to our coach to visit such a project. It used to be a school. We're met by Bastien de Jong, well, very much welcome. Uh, who's carved his new home out of an old classroom. And the dream was to live in one of the well most unique buildings in this neighborhood. We worked very hard the last two years together, but as well as individuals at our own apartments to make something which was, well, which we all wanted to build ourselves. So every apartment is unique, we have more or less the same space, okay. but every apartment has its own character. I had 77 square meters to start with, but because we are on the bottom floor, I had the possibility to lower the floor and to make extra floor inside of the house, so now I have 100 square meters. So that's the flexibility which the government gave you. They quite basically Bastian and his neighbours were able to get on with the job because of a government policy shift in 2010, which means today a third of new homes in the Netherlands are self or custom builds. Later that day at a reception at the British ambassador's residence, Carol Kupka, a senior civil servant in the Dutch Home Office, told me what happened. In the first period, we tried to convince local authorities by giving them extra subsidies, grants, it failed. We made a second approach, giving provinces a budget of 1 million euros per province to stimulate cooperative housing groups. That worked. And why did it work? Because it was a direct financement of the start problems each housing group has to face, namely getting start capital to engage an architect to get permissions, to get the group together. And by this relatively small financial subventions, the groups came off this project and they were realized. We have just to spread out the knowledge. All the professionals, the municipalities, the architects have gathered in the periods before. And that's why we installed our expert team. The expert team of housing professionals are there to guide self-builders. There to say yes and here's how rather than no and not our problem mate. Richard Bacon, who chairs the all-party parliamentary group on self and custom build, says UK local authorities could easily follow the Dutch model 
and set up plot shops and expert teams. There are 53% of the adult population who would like to build their own house at some point in their lives. There are one million people who would like to do that in the next 12 months, but only 15,000 manage to do so. The problem is the system squashes any creativity that people have. And actually, if you give them the chance, people have huge creativity. And it's odd, really, because if you walk down the street and went inside people's houses, everyone would be different. What yes. you really want to do is express that difference on the outside. Well, it's not just um, the physical differences in terms of decor that you do see on the inside, because people express their personalities, but people have different desires and wants for what their house would physically do. So, uh, for example, if you were an arts and crafts teacher in a school, you'd probably want a workshop in your house. If you were teaching history, you'd probably want a library. There are many, many different examples in different walks of life where people given the chance would choose to design a house differently for their own needs. Do you think that bureaucracies don't trust individuals and that's at the heart of it, that's why they'd, they'd be nervous about saying to people, oh, just build what you like. It is in the nature of bureaucracies not to trust individuals, and that's not a criticism of bureaucrats. It's simply the way you run things. If you create a bureaucracy, you have to have rules, and once you have rules, then the rules take precedence. And this is really about allowing much more discretion and choice for individuals, because actually the way we come together as a society and express what we have in common is going to work much better if people are allowed and feel free to express their individuality. And there is nothing more individual, there's nothing more personal, there's nothing more tied up with your sense of self than your own home. The Conservative MP Richard Bacon, who chairs the All-Party Parliamentary Group on Self and Custom Build, ending that report by Kevin Mosley.